the standard form or the general form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Good day to you viewers. In this tutorial, we want to derive the quadratic equation and we shall be using the method of completing the square. First, we subtract c from both sides. That is, from the left-hand side, we subtract c. From the right-hand side, we subtract c. We will be left with ax squared plus bx on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, 0 minus c gives negative c. The next step is to make the coefficient of x squared 1. And that can be achieved when we divide through by a. which is the coefficient of x squared, meaning that we have x squared plus bx over a equals to negative c over a. At this point, we are going to add a constant to both sides. The constant to be added is such that the left-hand side will factor as a perfect square. What is this constant to add? It is the square of half of the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is b over a, half of it is b over 2a, which means we'll be adding the square of b over 2a to both sides in order to be able to factor the left-hand side as a perfect square. So we have x squared plus bx over a plus b over 2a all squared. And on the right hand side, we have minus c over a plus b over 2a all squared. If you have not seen a tutorial on how to get what to add to make a quadratic expression a perfect square trinomial, the link is in the description box to this video. Now, the left-hand side is going to factor as x plus b over 2a all squared. Because x squared is the square of x, b over 2a squared is the square of b over 2a, and the middle term is twice the product of x and b over 2a. We also have a tutorial on how to identify and factor perfect square trinomials. The link is also in the description box. The right hand side will be negative c over a. Then we take the square of the bracket, which is b squared, and the square of 2a is going to give 4a squared. Next up, we take the lowest common denominator of the right hand side in order to write it as a single fraction. So we have x plus b over 2a on the left hand side all squared, and on the right hand side, the lowest common denominator, the LCM is 4A squared. And negative C over A does become negative 4AC, while we have plus B squared. Then we rearrange the numerator on the right hand side, so that the left hand side still remains X plus B over 2A, all squared, and the right hand side we write it as b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. We then take the square roots of both sides. We have x plus b over 2a all squared on the left hand side and b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared on the right hand side. We take their square roots such that on the left hand side the square roots cancel the square. We then have x plus b over 2a on the left hand side and on the right hand side when we take the square roots it will be plus or minus. The numerator is the square root of b squared minus 4ac 
and the square root of the denominator, square root of 4 is 2, square root of a squared is a. And the next step is to subtract b over 2a from both sides. When we do, the left-hand side is x. The right-hand side will be negative b over 2a, choosing to write it first, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, both fractions, minus b over 2a and square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, they are the same denominator. So we combine them as one fraction as x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. This is the quadratic formula. Note it down somewhere. In our next math tutorial, we are going to show you how to apply this to solving quadratic equations. If you are yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get updates when the next video will be released. Keep enjoying our tutorials. Bye.